Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, November the 8th, 2018, and I want to wish Miss Vegas a very happy birthday, and I'm going to hand this right over to her. Happy birthday, Miss Vegas. Thank you. My birthday's tomorrow, so thank you everyone for the nice wishes I actually got today. Um, so I just want to just talk about the following stocks for today. Uh, we're going to talk about NVLN, NK, Lens, HIMX, and then some pot stocks. So we'll first start with NVLN, which is Novellian Therapeutics. Now they're a Canadian company located in the beautiful city of Vancouver, British Columbia. And uh, they did announce that um, they got some secured funding. And what this is going to do is it's going to have them have a positive cash flow by the end of the second quarter uh, of 2019. And um, this will help them advance to various um, developments that they're going to do within the organization. So this operational movement will help them also reduce uh, the cost with some initiatives that they've executed in earlier this year, and it's going to help them become extremely cash flow positive. And you guys, you've got to love a company that's going to be cash flow positive because when that happens, a stock like this, even though it had a beautiful run, and Jim's going to talk about that in a second, this one has to be on watch for even the beginning of 2019. And I'm going to keep this stock on watch on a regular basis. Because when this becomes cash flow positive, this is phenomenal news for this company. So, Jim, I'm going to turn it over to you to talk about uh, the chart and all the action that happened here today. Yeah, well, NVLN broke out this morning right at 70 cents. I mean, under a little probably above 70 cents. And I think we were alerted right about the beginning of this breakout. Well, it ran all the way up to the 50 SMA today and then decided to go ahead and pull on back. And that 50 SMA was right around 226. I was calling 227. So this is a year chart. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull up the 20 day, one hour. You see how it just kind of had a little steeple there, went up to 235. I called this 227 as a good solid resistance and maybe it's time to and we were on the way up telling people to take their profit. And I flipped this all the way up from a dollar up to about a dollar fifty. Then I got back in it and started flipping it all the way up. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up the day chart real fast and let you look at how beautiful this chart was. So right out of the gate, this thing started popping up and ran up to about 162. And we called this resistance at 162. And we played the pullbacks on it. And I played the pullbacks in a way. I got in right around 140 on this thing and ran it all the way up to about 191. Then it started playing these little channels here. I called it right off this 50 SMA you see right here. It bounced up and hit that resistance right at 191, pulled back to that support level again right there at 174. So you had three good bounces to play in this channel. And then it broke out and then we started seeing the weakness, seeing the 50 cross down over the 100, which was a good guideline for me to say, Tell the room to get out, take your profit, and just wait for the pullback. And I ran this all the way down, flipped it a couple of times. Cost average down a couple of trades because I had bad entries. But still yet, I came out profitable. I didn't take a loss on this stock at all in any of my trades today. And this is NVLN pulled back to 138 after hours. So let's keep this on watch. I think we're going to have another good day on this tomorrow. Maybe if it pulls back or stays in this channel right around 125. So keep this thing on watch for tomorrow, and, and if not, keep it on your watch list. And the next stock we're going to talk about, Vegas, will be NK. Yes, so NK also had uh, some news. This is called NanQuest. NanQuest. And this is actually a really nice weekly swing trade. The chart is just beautiful. But I just want to mention what the news was about. So let me just pull it up here. So on this uh, NK stock here, um, the news on this one was they did confirm that they have promising clinical results. They're doing some clinical trials on about 300 patients. 
And this is for a novel cancer memory vaccine immunotherapy. So looks like they've had some good news uh, with regards to how it's going so far. And, uh, you know, the stock, you know, the market liked that information. And I actually believe that we should see a continuation on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, on NK. And uh, Jim can talk about, you know, what happened with the chart today, but it did open up this morning, had a low of 336 and uh, currently trading around 370, but it did go as high as 410. Uh, but I do believe that even at this price, as we speak live after hours, uh, there is room for the stock to have a continuation. And Jim, what are your thoughts on this chart and what you see on the daily and the weekly? Well, the definitely it broke out big time today from 275 all the way up to around oh, 4, 4, 10, 409, somewhere around there and pulled back to the 200 SMA. And I'm looking at the SMA. We got the 200, the 100 and the 50. So it's had a real hard sell off. And I wish we'd have seen this earlier when it was right around 216 at that bottom. But today, NK, I'm going to pull up the 20-day chart and look at it real fast and see if I can identify anything. Looks like we had a 20-day resistance high of right around 377. We hit that twice today. Looks like we got a nice little channel moving up on the daily. So I'm going to pull up a daily chart now. And we had a wonderful breakout after hours last night. Pulled back, hit that that high again, pulled back, kind of consolidated a little bit. My moving averages are kind of tight here, so I'm going to keep this on watch. I might see a pullback support right around 337 is what I'm thinking, and then maybe a pivot point right around 346 or your first support right around 347. So you got 337, 347, and then you got this 360 right here, which is probably going to be your first support. There's your second and your third. I'd like to see this go ahead and jump up and break out of this channel right around 386. If it breaks at 386 tomorrow, we could probably bring it up to 411. So let's let's minimize it to my old employee number 401. So this is NK. Keep it on watch. I've just put it on my watch list today. I didn't play it because I was involved in a couple of other trades today. And I did very well in them trades. And that was uh, NVLN. It was definitely my baby today. So keep NK on watch. And our next one we're going to talk about is something that everybody likes, Lens. That's right. So Lens, L-E-N-S, um, just to talk about briefly about the company so you guys can understand what they do. But they are obviously with the name of the, the ticker, L-E-N-S. They're an ophthalmic device company. They're the leader in the near vision restoration. OK, so they uh, develop uh, products. They work with um, cataract and refractive surgeons. Um, and that's really, you know, what they're involved in. So um, <clears throat> they're a great, great, um, interesting company to watch. But th what I liked about the stock here, we we're looking at this from a bottom place. So uh, we look to take this trade around the 74 cents the other day. And actually reminded people today that, you know, the stock was around 90 cents, that this was good for a potential reversal. And uh, the trade did go to about 120. And then it's kind of, you know, kind of stood still there and it's kind of hanging out there. So Jim's uh, been able to chart this up and give me his thoughts on Lens. And uh, I think it'd be interesting for you guys to listen to his commentary on Lens because there is some good um, thoughts surrounding that. Yeah. Well, Lens has had a yearly high of 714 on a big breakout with a good resistance right here around 465. Then I see another one right here around 398. This is just on a yearly. But I'm noticing the 50. We, we, almost, we, we shot up to about 120 on this thing and pulled back to 105. Uh, 64 was the low uh, support on this, the bottom play about five days ago, six days ago. So I'm looking at this stock. I'm going to magnify it up just a little bit. Put about a five-day. Well, that ain't going to work. Put a 20-day on here. 
So I'm kind of looking, this is going to be a little low volume stock. It's not going to have a lot of, lot of volume, but it did have a great surge out today. And we broke up to that 120 after, we're, after hours. We're back up here at the double top of 120. So this could continue on up or it could pull back. And if it pulls back, it'll be right around 95 cents. And you got another little support level right here about 105. But I'm going to lower it down just a little bit to 103. And I like I like the chart on this thing today. I did call a little pullback, and it did pull back to about 105 during market hours. And let me pull up a daily one minute. You can see there's not a lot of volume on this trade. So I just want you to be very cautious with it. Watch the volume, and maybe you can get in on a pullback right around 95 cents. And this is Lens, and keep it on watch. And the next one we're going to talk about is H-I-M-X. Okay, so Hymax Technologies. Another uh, bottom this play. That's another bottom play. I mean, I've been following this stock in this stock for a long time. And let me tell you, sometimes as, you know, a shareholder or someone that's invested in this, you can get so frustrated uh, because it's really not going the way you want it to go. But um, just talking about it only because um, they did have the earnings. Uh, everything was on track. Um, the only thing they mentioned as well is that the yearly guidance, uh, they're not going to give that for the rest of this year, but that should not um, make people not want to continue with the stock. But there was a lot of selling going on. The stock uh, had a high earlier in the day of 539 and pulled back as low as 474. And I was watching this all afternoon and I was noticing that you know, it wasn't really going below that and people were buying it around 477 seemed to be really the line in the sand that I saw. And this is a new, you know, new low. So I actually think that this is a good time for a high max entry for a potential swing trade on a reversal. And uh, it's had its moments. I mean, the volume's good. It's over 7 million today. I did notice after hours a big order went through at the ask for 215,541 shares mm -hmm. at the ask at $4.82. So some fat cat out there obviously knows it's a good deal and is buying the stock at this low. So Jim can talk about the chart. And for those of you that like a swing trade, you may want to consider this as a slow grind and on a potential reversal. Yeah, I've been watching this stock for a year. I've flipped it a couple of times, but there's been many of opportunities for me to get in and out of this stock. For the past five months, it's kind of been on a downtrend. And today we hit a yearly low of 474. Now, I personally like like the, watching this stock, and I'm going to watch the volume on it tomorrow. I could probably bring it up back up to 520, five bucks is what I'm looking at. And I'm going to pull up a 20 day chart real fast. Now all these trend lines are my extended trend lines, and I use the same trend lines the whole year long if I ha if I can, as long as it stays in the channel. So I'm going to pull up a 20 day. You see how hard the sell off was today. This was just you know, and and when we've had them before, they bounced up. They bounced up. You know, the sell off here it bounces up. So I'm thinking we can take this back to five. And if we can take it back to five, we'll go ahead and continue to 520. And that there would be the bottom line support, which is now a new resistance for this stock. And that's the bottom line, which I had as a low support. And then we just oversold today. So I want you to keep HIMX on watch. It's, I mean, it's a drama stock. We're playing the bottom. So just be patient and cautious with it. And that's HIMX. And then I'm going to talk about some of the pot stocks. And I want to thank Jeff Sessions for resigning because he, he gave <laughs> that him. Was that was great. Yeah, he gave us a good run yesterday on Tillery. And I called that thing at 111 and it ran all the way up to 140. And I was just shaking in my boots yesterday because it ran all the way. I was calling this play off this 200 SMA. And it ran all the way up to 140, and I said, you know, we might see 126 by the end of the day, and bam, man, it just started taking off. And that's when I, I saw an opportunity. So I flipped this thing a couple, two or three times yesterday. 
and then today we had a pullback correction to about 117 so I want you to keep this thing on watch we're in a buy area anytime this thing gets below a hundred dollars add it to your watch list and keep a good eye on it because I love Tillery and then I got a couple other that I watch InBev had some problems this afternoon it had a shelf offering um, InBev so it pulled back to four it pulled back to a little under four around 389 I got a 350 support on this 360 so I'm thinking if this thing goes down to 360 tomorrow or maybe next week it'll be a buying opportunity last time we were down here it was a couple weeks ago and it ran all the way up to about 483 from 346 so we're at a pivot point right now in this channel or a real low support right at around 404 keep a good eye on it if there's any pullback on this stock look for the green in the tape also keep a good eye on the level two and try to play this bottom on this InBev I like InBev and also we have another one that I also just reminded you these are my four top stocks InBev's not my top one but after seeing what happened today it could be again so Cron we had a great week and a half run on it it pulled back so I'm thinking maybe another day of pullback on this stock on all the pot stocks and maybe Monday we can get back in them and start flipping them again and then I got one more I want you to keep on watch and that's the ACB and I, I love this stock and we have another one too CGC keep that one on watch too but it also pulled back ACB pulled back today right around 756 let's see if we can get another day of pullback right here to this support level a little right around seven bucks so it's ACB and then I'm just gonna post this CGC real fast I didn't watch it today but we called it out yesterday and if you got out at around 46 you did well it pulled back to 42 so we're at a three day support if it pulls back any more to around 40 it's gonna be a strong buy at 40 bucks but I want you to keep all five of these on watch and Vegas what else do you got for us uh, so just in closing I have had a lot of people I'm uh, mentioning and asking about this OTC so I just have a flyer here that I've d I had designed and so it has all the information on there about the different topics that are going to be covered again it's a coaching classes it's not going to be the same thing month over month. Every month, it's going to be new topics, and it's going to be ongoing. So we've already had about 45 people uh, signed up, and I was actually looking to only have 30. So I'm going to just round it off to like 50 and just open up like five more spaces. But uh, first come, first serve, really. So if you're interested, message me, Vegas, that I love stocks. Dot com and I'll be happy to give you all the details it is worth every penny you're gonna love this coaching class and again this is not a DVD this is live this is with an actual mentor Patrick he's so good at OTC he actually turned hundred and fifty dollars into like thirty thousand and he's obviously got a much bigger account now, but that's how he fell in love with OTC. And he's got this fabulous methodology that he's going to walk you all through. If you sign up, I will also be sending you uh, some video material that has a pre-done for you to uh, get introduced to OTC market and get more comfortable so that when we start the classes on Tuesday night, uh, you will be obviously a little more connected to um, what we're going to be talking about. But this is really good for like beginners and also especially for people that, you know, have trading experience, but maybe they're not really familiar with OTC. It's a totally different beast. So I'm looking forward to being in the class myself uh, <laughs> only because there's so much money that we're missing out on on OTC. And uh, part of it's because I don't like taking the risk. So I'm looking forward to learning more about it. So that's it. All right. Well, I also want to bring up about my $1,000 challenge. I started three months ago. Oh, yeah. Uh, Let's of, talk about that. As of today, it's at $4,243.65 after close. And I want to bring this up by the end of next year to hundred grand. So this is going to be my challenge account for next year. 
you can always come join our chat room we're going to have the link dis displayed down below the video if you want to join us we have offer two week free trial you can follow my trades and we have pretty good alerts in the room and we cut keep it friendly after a couple weeks if you like the room you can sign up and join the room so Vegas I hope okay. you have a happy birthday tomorrow you're going to go see what are you going to do this weekend on your birthday well probably gonna you know go away and uh you know go see a few things and do some sightseeing or go to some really great restaurants in All the right. U.S. so you know I love America God bless America love the USA all right. So, so I hope uh, you guys will have a great Friday trading and, um, and we will uh, definitely do an I Love Stocks uh, video probably on Sunday. Jim and I will be able to collaborate and um, get you all ready for Monday. But if you watch tonight's video, you should be ready for tomorrow, too. So that's great. I wish you all a fabulous night. All right. Well, this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. November the 8th 2018 and we we love stocks and just want to wish you a happy weekend oh heck I still got tomorrow I got to be trading kind of step ahead of myself now so everybody have a good day